Hi guys, we're back with aggressive behavior and the e-collar. And honestly, I just why that bothers me so much that these people say don't use it on aggressive talks. Uh, don't use a bad methodology is what they're trying to say. So, you know, if you're going to get angry, aggressive dogs and start snatching them with pinch collars, you're going to damage the relationship. Hi, JC. Hi, Mike. Yeah, we've got to maybe write up a paper. Oh, poor Chelsea's task. Uh, Chelsea's written a bunch of the book, Mike. I need you to read it with my bad glasses and inability to sit still. I haven't been able to get through it yet. I said, let Mike read it. And to her, that was kind of like an insult, just in saying, let Edmund. <laughs> so now she's gone. Mike's like, what? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but he didn't know where I went. I was kind of hiding. Hello, Kimberly Ann. No, I've decided now Angus isn't ready for adoption yet. I just... It's going to have to be, we're going to have to send energy out to find the right person. And I'm just going to get him more advanced. And I just more than anything don't want him to fail. And if you said, how would he fail? By being mishandled. By being mishandled and somebody just ooing and on over him all day. And then him later getting bored with that and saying, eh, there's a duck. Look, a duck. I'm bored with all what's her name. Them and their hugs and kisses all day. Been there, done that. <laughs> Oh, I've been there and done that. And it's going to have to be someone that knows how to dance. Oh, a dancer. They're going to have to be a dancer. So I will tell you, I don't rub on this dog in the context of training. I promise you that's not going to get them back to the handler when they go far away. Oh, Kimberly and can't see you. We get to get you better in the shot. We've got to find the perfect person that won't really know. Oh, that won't really know all his dancing lessons. Anyway, so, you know, if we just broke aggressive behavior down into, please look at the old dog, gotcha. Um, you know, that the problem with aggressive dogs is they can barely be held on the leash. So we're going to approach it from that angle. You know, the only thing, we, let's get tools and a methodology to, to be able to get the dog to return to the handler. I don't know what else to say. So you do have to start doing whatever you've been doing with the leash on. Because a lot of dogs, as soon as you put the leash on, they start pulling. That's what they do. So I always feed the leash out like that. If you said, what do I see people doing wrong? Well, first off, they're running the leash all crazy. Yay. Yay. So you do, uh-oh, she was gonna pick that up for me. Oh, he's so thoughtful. So I'm gonna use my pager to get him back up there. So I'm just going to turn him with the pager. And I am. I'm adding the leash to that. And if you said, why? Because you need to be able to rudder him around. If none of your training involves the leash being in front of the dog, if the leash is always back here, you've got to be able to rudder the dog. And a lot of dogs have, again, once you put the leash on, they've been conditioned to act a certain way. Not really the way the people wanted them to act. You know, just based on them as a handler. Oh, he's, oh, he's like a cookie monster. He's like a, I mean, in fact, Kimberly, I'm gonna get him some of those dog cookies. And I'm gonna make a video of him eating a dozen of them. Real close up, in, in slow-mo, in slow-mo. Oh, the cookie's going down, down, down into his mouth. You know, but he doesn't. He's got a very soft mouth. It's, you know, and that's the crazy part. The dog is a contradiction. You know, they'll grab another dog like a sock toy. But, oh, it's a gentle as a lamb with the cheek. All right, so I'm just going to work on her healing. He's absolutely so animated. 
So that's really the angle that you want. Yeah. You want to reward right out of that turn because that's where we're going. Turn. Turn. Oh, he's absolutely perfect. All right, let's work on his jumping. Now, he jumps now too, Kimberly. I don't know if you've seen his jumping. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it, Mike? A flying bulldog. And I'm sure there's ways to create the behavior faster. I think if you just put a little jump there. Angus. So you're just adding the leash. And right there. Yay. I'm sorry right now, this collar I don't even think is on. If the collar isn't on, I want you to understand what that is, is the placebo effect. No, nope, not even on. So for people that say, yeah, that's how, that's how bad I am. It's Monday morning. I'm struggling. Hi, Susan. So I want you to understand people that say, well, we'll never do it without it. Well, apparently you're going to forget to, here, this is what we put in there. Occasionally you're going to forget to turn it on. Oh, now how do you know you're doing good? Occasionally you forget to turn it on, but don't notice right away. That's how you know. Am I wrong? <laughs> Let's see if it speeds him up now though. Probably try to get, you know, he could probably get all the way up there. He could be the dancing elephant. I want you to know that when his lead, his foot got hooked over the leash, he fixed it himself. And that tells me a lot. Oh, he's the cutest bulldog ever. So that was my pager. I just moved him back in my direction. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can try to get him sitting. I've got him doing it in the house. And I have a certain reaction when he does it. He's not even And if he said, what are you looking for? Just a little crinkle in his back end. Oh, that'll be a proud moment, Kimberly Ann. In fact, I'll, when I get him doing it, I'll tag you in the video. All right, so. I do think you want to think of concentric circles that are surrounding the handler and where is this dog residing in those circles? You know what I mean? If the dog is staying in arm's length, oh, he's absolutely awful. Uh, if the dog is staying in arm's length away from the handler, you've got to work on that. You know, if they're willing to be right, you know, this close to the handler, I'm going to get him to pick this up. I'm going to tell you right now, I better be careful because he might. Yay. That's this new thing, Kimberly. He tosses it and then I have to catch it. Oh, this job is an easy girl. So he kind of invented that on his own. Yay. Everybody loves a bulldog that gets its own leash. Oh, no, I'm very attached to this dog, Kimberly, and honestly, I was very, very nervous. I was very nervous when I first got him after, you know, I've had some bad stories of transports when they're bringing foster dogs to me, but this was by far the worst I'd ever heard. Jumped out of the thing and ran back to the thing to start attacking. Not happy to be away from the place. Not this guy. <laughs> Couldn't get back there fast enough to <laughs> start killing off his enemies. <laughs> a cute dog all right so i can i can get him to just to travel one time but that's what i'm working on i think i better get the down on him first uh before we get him adopted out so that might take the rest of the summer all right let me get rid of the leash and i do i do have what honestly mike at this point i consider a train to retrieve and if you sit oh geez. He sees that the, oh, he gets very, very excited when he sees his dumbbell. <laughs> it's very, very excited. Oh, he can't, just can't pick them up fast enough. All right, let me help him understand. We'll just go from here to here. Or 
just going to add the pager right there. <laughs> You've got to jump Molly. You didn't jump Molly. So there's my pager. There's my pickup. Yay! I don't know what else to say. It's, you know... It's not a total of shape for Trave anymore. I mean, once you add that in there, it may not be, you know, field trial caliber, but it's bulldog caliber. Oh, he can't wait to do it. He just can't wait. <laughs> and he's so, so proud. He's so very, very proud. I still haven't thrown anything, though, and I don't intend to. To me, he looks like he'd have those. See ya. All right, we can try a little drill, though. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back for the second one. Straight A's. Oh, he's my little star. You know, so that was just a little drill. And I think if I keep working on it, uh... Oh, no, honestly, girl. I, you know, and it's not like I'm that full of myself or whatever, but I think he could have ended up with other training methods not this good because it's a very unusual case. That's why it's, I've never seen a case like that. I'll never forget this dog. I've never seen a case like this. Dragging me, attacking all those kennels. I, then I got it inside. Now it's going crazy in there. I've locked all the dogs up, but they're all barking at it. Now it's going crazy in there. Finally get in the kennel and my words were, mother of God, what's going on here? <laughs> what the, what the dancing bear? <laughs> He was headed for the platform. He saw me out of the corner of his eye go by that footstool, and he changed his mind at the last minute. Anyway, girl, he's doing awesome, but that's, you know, I've got a check cord on him. If, if you said, where are you at with your concentric circles? I've got a pretty good control at the farthest boundary of the circle, and I've got real good control at the inner circle, and then, yeah, I've got a little gray area in between where I understand I may have to push or pull the dog or do whatever it is to get it to come to me. I know from far away I can drive it my direction real fast. And I know when he's very, very close to me, I can get him to do a lot of little things. So anyway, girl, that was his thing for today. But we'll probably be back with Angus in the afternoon. So hang on, you guys. I will be right back. <laughs>